I was homeschooled in high school, which I know is going to come as a shock to all of you. Um, such a hip, fly, well-adjusted guy. Um, I loved homeschooling, by the way. It's fantastic. Um, to save money, uh, instead of buying the textbook for me and the teacher's edition for her, my mom would just buy the teacher's edition and give that to me. And I remember when she gave it to me, and of course the teacher's edition had all the answers for every lesson, quiz, test, examination, I had it all. I remember my mom gave me the teacher's edition. She said, now listen, it does you no good to cheat. Um, she said, I, grades mean nothing. You're gonna be at the top of your class no matter what you do. And so she said, you know, the point is not to get good grades, but to get understanding. And if you cheat, you're only cheating yourself. So and she was right, that was good advice. And when I was sitting at the, doing my algebra at the kitchen table, banging my head against the, the table, dealing with some nettlesome equation, it was real tempting to just, you know, put the answer on the page and move on. But she was right. If I did that, I wouldn't have any understanding. And what that taught me was that it was, there's something a whole lot more important than just having answers. And that's having understanding. You know, everybody believes that E equals MC squared, but only a very few of us could split the atom with that knowledge. Having answers is great, but having understanding is so much more important. You know, the Bible is really, being given the Bible is a lot like being given the teacher's edition. Uh, we have all the answers in here, but we really don't have a lot of the understanding unless you wanna do the wrestling with it. It's, it's really hard otherwise. You know, I think um, the word understand is an old English word, which means to be in the midst of. I, I remember I'd always grown up hearing about the Northern Lights and I'd never seen them. And to me, it, you know, it was interesting. They all seemed to be really crazy about it. Everybody had seen them. But to me, their description of it wasn't that great. And I, I didn't really understand what it was all about. But then one very cold wintry night in Vermont, um, my parents woke us up in the very middle of the night and encouraged us to throw our coats on over our pajamas and to run out on the back deck because just over the tree line in the night sky was the northern lights and I we ran outside and when I was outside looking up at it I finally understood what they were talking about because I saw it for myself same thing's true with the bible you know all these truths we all believe in and know about justification by faith and sanctification or prayer for instance we all believe in prayer but not all of us can move mountains by prayer because we don't all understand it. And so my encouragement for you today is to do the hard work of working to understand, wrestling with these things. Um, if, unless you do that, you're only cheating yourself. I just wanna read you for encouragement um, a couple of three verses from the book of Isaiah chapter one, verse 18 here. Listen to what God told his people. He says, come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall become like wool. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be eaten by the sword. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. When he says, come, let us reason together. He says, come, let, let's, let's wrestle with this together. And he says, listen, if you're willing and you're obedient, uh, all the blessings are going to be yours by way of understanding. And so there's a lot of stuff in here that's a whole lot more fascinating, interesting than the Northern Lights. And to understand it, you've got to be in it. You've got to be in the midst of it to get it. So this is a great time to do that. I mean, Any time is a good time, but especially right now. So I just want to encourage you in that today. And again, we love you so much. We're praying for you an awful lot. And I'm confident that the Lord's using this time to really grow us all together. Have a great night. God bless you.